All right, you guys. Today we're gonna to be doing a cylinder four cooling mod install on the STI. This is by Get a Dom Tune. This is the one that I would recommend you guys going with as well because he's the original creator. So support this guy, you know. Don't support all those other people that are just trying to piggyback off of what he has created. This is probably the best quality cylinder four cooling mod that you guys can also get. And by that, I'm just basically meaning the fitting that comes with here is metal, unlike the other ones that are plastic. This guy right here, this T-fitting. I do apologize ahead of time if you guys hear a lot of wind noise. It's pretty windy out here. Of course, I choose the windiest time of the day to do this install. It's also getting pretty late, but I don't think that matters because I'm going to be under the car anyways. I'm going to throw on some lights. I got a couple lights here. I'll go ahead and light up the work area. We'll, we'll get it done, and you guys will see what I'm doing, hopefully. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is drain some of the coolant out of this engine. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of these buckets right here. I'm going to go ahead and place it under the car. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the lower radiator hose and we're going to try to drain some coolant out of that. So that way when we're doing the install, it's not leaking all over the place. So let's get under this car. Let me show you where we're going to disconnect the radiator hose and drain some of this coolant. Okay guys, so this is the lower radiator hose right here. We want to disconnect it at the water pump. So get this hose clamp, slide it down and then disconnect this and uh, drain as much coolant as you can out of there. After you do that, put the hose back on, put the clamp back on and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is lower my car a little bit because it is at an angle because I raised it up. Uh, that way I can get even more coolant to come out. So I'm gonna move my camera out of the way so I don't squash it. After I do that, I'll raise it back up and then uh, we'll put this hose back on. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit and drain for like five minutes before I lift it back up and put that radiator hose back on it. In the meantime, let's talk about a couple things that I need to take care of on this car. First and foremost, I need new tires. Basically running slicks right now. Not only that, but this one has a hole somewhere. It's leaking like crazy. I've already taken it to a tire shop and they can't patch it apparently is what they said. So yeah, there's that, I need new tires. So that's on the list. Second thing that needs to be fixed is my windshield. I need a new one. There's a big crack going across the entire windshield. Let me show you guys what I mean. So you guys can see the crack all the way across my windshield. Yeah, that's gonna need to be taken care of. So new windshield, new tires, that's on the list. Need to take care of that. And those two reasons alone are why I haven't been driving this car that much lately so once i get that taken care of you guys will see a lot more videos of me having fun with this car showcasing it this and that but yeah those are two things that i need to get taken care of asap and i will try to as soon as i can but the windshields on these cars are expensive so i'm trying to find a little cheaper somewhere here we go again with the cars it's probably the same guy too all right anyways let me give this a couple minutes to drain and then we'll be right back okay i think that's good enough let me go ahead and lift this car back up and then reconnect that radiator hose Okay, I got some lights underneath so we can light up the area we're gonna be working in. Now let me show you where that plug is that we need to take out to install that cylinder for coolant mod. So underneath your car, the plug is gonna be on the driver's side and you're gonna find it by facing that way. So it's gonna be on the back of the engine. So let's go underneath and show you exactly where it's at. So it's kind of hard to fit my big camera under here. I'm gonna have to take off my mic to be able to actually stick my camera in there. So let me do that really quick and I apologize if the audio sounds like crap. Okay, now to give you guys a point of reference, this is going to be the left axle right here. So pass the axle on the back of the engine. Let me get it into focus here. So right there, you're going to see that hex looking bolt. So this is the bolt that you guys want to remove right here. Very hard to film, but it's right here. My finger's pointing. That's the one we're going to have to remove. Let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to do my best to get this on video. If I can't, I do apologize. There's no room to work here. Get a 12 millimeter hex key right here and do your best to remove this guy right here. Okay, so let's just see if I can get it with the normal ratchet. If not, going to need to go get a breaker bar. Ah, okay, no. Almost made a vein pop in my neck. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so the camera is in the way when I'm trying to break it loose. So let me do that really quick, and then I'm going to get the footage of me getting it out.
I'll be honest, I was not ready for all that coolant to come out. Uh, but yeah, let me just let it all drip out and I'll just clean up this mess afterwards. Let me get out of the way, I'm getting wet. Yeah, so I uh, created a little bit of a mess. I won't lie, let me go get a hose. Let me clean all that up. Oh shit, my mic's laying over there. So yeah, I'm just gonna water that down a little bit. Sorry, get a dom. I know in your instructions it says respect the environment when you are disposing coolant. This was an accident. But now that I think about it, if the wind is part of the environment, I guess this is my way of getting it back. We're messing up my new lip. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna clean this off. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. So I got a piece of cardboard to throw under the car now since it's wet. All right, you guys, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna grab some shop towels right here. Then we're gonna grab some of this high-tech surface prep. Hopefully this stuff is good enough. So we're gonna clean up all those threads best we can before we thread on that cylinder four cooling mod. So let's get back under there and let's clean it up. So just do the best you can at cleaning those threads out. Okay, so I cleaned them as much as I can. There's still a little bit of thread locker left on it. It's not a big deal though. So let's go get the cylinder four cooling mod. And let's continue. Next thing we want to do is grab some of this Permatex Ultra Gray Gasket Maker. We're going to put that onto the threads of the Cylinder 4 cooling mod. Then we're going to thread that in. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's thread that sucker on there. Okay, I'm going to need a bigger hole on this guy. That should do the trick. All right, so that should be plenty right there. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top thread. So let's go ahead and hand thread this on there. Then we're gonna grab a socket and tighten it all the way up. All right, let's grab this fitting and thread it into that hole. Is out perfect okay I'm gonna go grab a socket and I'll be right back okay so it seems like it's a 26 okay so I got it a little bit tight not too tight because this is an aluminum block you guys don't want to strip any threads or mess this up so be careful okay what we want to do now is grab this hose put a hose clamp onto it like so and then we're gonna put it onto that fitting So there we go. Now let's just put this hose clamp where it needs to be and let's tighten it down. Should be a number seven. All right, that should be tight enough right about there. Okay, you guys, so this is the cylinder four cooling mod right here. And then we're gonna need to tap into this hose right here that has this little bit of extra hose or protection or whatever you'd call this on this hose. So there's two hoses here. There's one down here that's higher up there's one down here that's easier to get to. It's closer to you. It also has this little coating on here. We're gonna wanna cut into this guy right here and then we're gonna use the T and plug it in basically like so. So find a good spot anywhere on this hose where you'd like to cut it and then go ahead and tap into it with that T that is provided. So what I'm gonna do is cut about an inch off of the cylinder four cooling mod right here. And then I'm gonna cut this hose basically almost right in the middle but closer to this edge right here. I just feel like that would be a better fitment, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I forgot to hit record, but I just cut off an inch off of this one. Now we're going to go ahead and cut this one about right here. Alright, so I went ahead and chopped that hose that I was talking about. Once again, I should have expected a bunch of coolant to come out, which I wasn't, and it got all over me, so that's fine. <laughs> this install is proving to be very dirty i'll tell you that you guys need to be prepared for all this i'm gonna let this stuff drain clean up my work area and then we're gonna get back up under there and i'm gonna show you guys where i cut the hose and then let's connect everything together and just for reference this is how much i cut off from the cylinder four cooling mod if you guys are wondering all right so i went ahead and cut this lower hose so i took the insulation off this side and i just scooted this one up right here so we're gonna go ahead and get a hose clamp on this side and on this side then we're gonna go ahead and put that metal T in here and then tighten both of those down. 
There's the one right there. Oh man, this wind is bugging me. Another one right here. So I'm gonna put the T in off camera because I need both hands and I'm currently holding up my camera with one hand. So I'll be right back. All right, there we go, the T is in here. Now I'm gonna face it away from the steering. So like that, so that way when I put my hose in here, it's kind of going in like this instead of close to, the, to this right here. So let's go ahead and tighten these hose clamps down all the way. And then we'll get this one on there. All right, I went ahead and got that tightened down. Now let's go ahead and grab another hose clamp, stick it onto this hose, and put it onto there and tighten it down. So there you have it. All three of those are tightened down. The one to the block is also tightened down right there. All right, so now that everything is fully tightened down, before I finish under here, one thing I want to do is get this hose right here and zip tie it closer to the other hose so it's further away from this, just as a precaution. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get two zip ties, or yeah, two zip ties probably, and just zip tie the two hoses together. So that way it's pushing this hose more in that direction and I have nothing to worry about when it comes to this. All right, so I got one zip tie right here and one right here. Let's just go ahead and pinch those guys off or cut them off. like so. This part of the install is finished. Okay, so we got the actual cylinder four cooling mod installed under there. Man, I got a lot of cleaning up to do. I have coolant all over all of my camera gear. You know, good thing I have warranties on it, but that's never fun. So this part of the install is done. We're gonna give it some time for the gasket maker to cure. We're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna refill the coolant. I'm probably gonna get new coolant spilt a lot out anyways, so I'm gonna need more. So I'm just gonna get brand new coolant. I'm just gonna drain the rest of this coolant system tomorrow and then put some new stuff in. We're gonna burp it, check for leaks. And if everything checks out, then the mod is fully installed and we're good to go. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. For you guys, it's gonna be a couple seconds. For me, it's gonna be a whole day. But either way, I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, you guys, it's been 22 hours now, give or take. And I have decided that I'm gonna go ahead and just flush all the coolant out of this car and put in brand new coolant, just because I did lose a lot. Um, at this point, I wish I did this in the beginning so I didn't get so messy last night with all this coolant going everywhere. But you know, it's whatever at this point. Let's just get this thing done. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise the car back up. I'm gonna fully drain all the coolant, or as much as I can, and then we're gonna go ahead and refill it. All right, so it's basically almost empty. Just little drops coming out here and there. Just gonna give it a little bit more time. Then let's go ahead and plug that up. All right, guys, so I got the radiator plugged back up. Then I put this cap on right here, but we're gonna keep that one off because that's where the coolant's going in. Now, before I actually lower the car, we have to do something to that cylinder four cooling mod before we fill the coolant. So let me just show you a few things that I'm gonna be using. Some of these things are optional, but I would recommend them. So obviously you're gonna need some coolant if you're gonna be refilling it, unless you're using the same coolant you took out. You're gonna want some hose pinch pliers right here. This is what I was talking about that we're gonna need to do here in a second. Gloves, rags are good to have. Now this is something I would highly recommend. This is basically just a no spill kit. This makes it super easy to burp your cooling system without having it leak all over the place. And filling it is a lot easier this way as well. So I would highly recommend picking one of these up. Very cheap on Amazon. So let's grab these host pinch pliers right here. Now let's go under the car where the cylinder four cooling mod is. And basically what we're gonna do is just pinch off the cylinder four cooling mod. So that way there's no coolant running through that hose at the moment while we do the whole coolant system burping and all that. So let's get that done. All right, as you guys can see, I have the cylinder four cooling mod pinched off. Please don't mind that hissing. That is my tire that I just filled up for no reason. Don't know why I did that, it has a leak anyways. I regret doing it. All right, now we can lower the car and go ahead and put the coolant into it. So just find the best fitting parts in your kit.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the car and then add coolant if I need it. And then let's just burp this. Also, turn your car on to max heat when you do that. So while you're waiting for that, also don't forget to massage these hoses right here to get any air pockets out that you can. Alright, so now I went ahead and removed that and then I'm going to run it again. I just didn't want the car running while I was doing that. So I'm going to run it for a little while now, get all the air bubbles out completely and then pop that off and we're going to be done with filling the coolant. So one thing I did is actually jack up this side a little bit because it was a little bit lopsided. I wanted it to be completely straight. And then I took off the clamp off the cylinder for cooling mod. When I did that, a lot more bubbles started coming out as well. So, not sure if that's why. But, so yeah, anyways, let's just do this until all the bubbles stop completely. I don't want to see a bubble for like 10 minutes. After that happens and all the temps are good, we're going to go ahead and call that a day on this. Basically, I just took all that off. I put the plug in there, took that tank off, got a little rag and soaked up any coolant that was inside of the little cap. And then I took that one off and then I put the OEM cap back on. So that is the complete install right there on how to do the cylinder Ford cooling mod. And also one thing I didn't show on camera, but I was checking for leaks. There was nothing leaking down there. When I had the car off, I lifted it to see if anything was wet where I did any of the hoses and everything was super dry, looked perfect. Now one thing that I'm still gonna do off camera, I'm gonna take this car on a drive and then tomorrow I'm gonna burp the car one more time just to make sure there's no air bubbles that got stuck because when I drive the car, I really let the coolant just go through the system. Then I'm gonna burp it one more time just to double check that I didn't miss any air bubbles. Now for anybody that is wondering what the cylinder four cooling mod is or how it works, so basically just how it's called, it helps with cooling cylinder four. So you know when we tapped into the return line on the heater core, that's gonna have some negative pressure and it's gonna suck coolant out of the block. So suck all that hot coolant out of the block. So instead of all the coolant just being sucked out of the left side where the turbocharger is, it's also gonna be sucked out of the right side and it's gonna help with cooling the right side of the engine where cylinder four is. And that's basically just the simple way of putting it on how the cylinder four cooling mod works. It's a really good mod you guys should do to your car and it's definitely a mod that I would recommend that you guys do as well. Before I actually end this video, the Perrin license plate relocation giveaway is ending tomorrow. So I'm gonna actually wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna pick a winner. Then I'm gonna add that little clip into the end of this video and then I'm gonna close the video out from there. So I'll see you guys at the giveaway results. All right guys, it's been exactly two weeks now and it is time for me to pick a giveaway winner for the Perrin license plate relocation kit. This guy right here. Now really quickly, let me just introduce you guys to my boy Leo, cause he's gonna be the one picking the winner. Come on Leo, buddy boy. Come here buddy boy. So this right here you guys, this is Leo. Say hi Leo to the camera. Yes, that's right, it's my boy right here. He's trying to, trying to swipe at the mic. My little cutie pie. So I'm just going to hover the mice over the comment picker thing on my YouTube channel and then he's going to press the button. I'm going to help him a little bit with that. But anyways, let's go ahead and pick the winner for this giveaway. Alright, Leo, you ready for this? Alright, you guys, this is the video right here. That was the giveaway. So we're going to go over here and then we're going to press on pick a winner. So I'm going to go ahead and hover the mouse right here. Come on, buddy, old pal, you're gonna pick the winner. All right, here's the lucky paw. All right, you guys, here we go. 
Get, get your ass out of the way now. Don't need you anymore. CDN Snow CDN. So there's the winner right there. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Snow, bro. And the comment read, I would love to win one for my 2020 STI. Driving around with no plate on the front will get me a ticket. Well, you're the winner of this giveaway, so you don't gotta worry about no tickets, man. As soon as I get your address, I'm gonna go ahead and ship that out to you. You're gonna get yourself a brand new Perrin license plate relocation kit. Thanks again, man, for watching the video and entering the giveaway. Don't worry, everybody, if you guys entered and you guys did not win, there will be more giveaways on this channel. Just keep an eye out for those ones. I plan on doing more. And it makes me really happy to be able to do this giveaway. It's really nice to be able to give back to the people that watch my channel, that view, that like, that subscribe. It really does mean a whole lot to me. Thank you again so much, man, and everybody else that entered the giveaway. So congrats once again, Snow, for winning the giveaway. Me and Leo are happy to be able to send it your way. I'm gonna go ahead and DM you. Hopefully I get a response from you shortly so I can get that address and ship this your way. Don't do it, Leo. Don't, don't fucking do it, bro. So you can thank this guy right here for choosing you. He's got that lucky pot, I guess you can call it. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. I really do hope that the installation on the Cylinder 4 cooling mod did help you guys out in case you guys were wondering exactly how you get that done. Hopefully I made it clear enough and good angles for you guys to be able to follow the video and do the install yourselves. Again, thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel, liked my videos, commented, gave me any constructive criticism. It does really mean a lot to me and I do really appreciate it. Keep an eye out for more giveaways in the future because I do plan on doing more because I always want to give back to the community. But until next time, everybody, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.